Hello Facebook land. Um, this morning I woke up and I decided today's the day to start our educational series. We've been talking about this for a little while um, and I don't even know why we haven't done it yet. Um, but I know there's a lot of people who have got like little niggly questions that want to find out about specific things about diving, which we teach day to day. It's all knowledge that can be in our heads and we want to share it with all of you guys. So this is the first of a, a new series of educational videos um, that we'll be doing in a live format and some video as well. So please like, share down the bottom um, after we do this one. And if you've got any questions that have just been asking you for ages, write them in the comments and then we'll create a little video for you to answer all of those questions and then enlighten everyone else. The first thing that I thought I'd start with is threading a tank band. Now I'm sure this is one of the things that a lot of people um, have gone to a dive site and their tank band just doesn't work properly it's because either it's been misthreaded or it has been undone um, and then they struggle with trying to put it on in the proper way. Um, I find a lot of dive professionals actually don't know how to do this as well which is quite astounding so I'm going to give you a little bit of a lesson, super quick lesson. So if Maddie can see me. All right so we've got the strap and we have a buckle here. Now for those of you who have ever observed, you've actually got little numbers on here. Does that show up? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you got these little numbers, all right? But quick lesson is you follow the numbers. Also, you can do it in a little bit of an S bend. So you go through the buckle bit first, so where the D ring is, and it needs to pop out through that second one, all right? Some people then will just start closing it off, but it's got no, nothing to grip on and tension. So you want to make a bit of an S. So this is the start of your S, and I'll show you that when we do the top view. And that goes through there. So that gives you your actual tension point. From there, you can go through there. So if you have a look through the top, see how it's just going in a bit of an S through there? Is that a backwards S? I don't know. It's a Maybe it's a it's C, a wiggle. whatever it is. So basically, this second bit of plastic through here is what it needs to grip over. So it goes through there, and then you can pop it on your tank. Turn the tank the right way. Okay, you've got this bit to then be able to tension. If you put it in any other way, when you did this, you'd have nothing to actually catch it. And you can pop it through there and across. All right. Obviously making sure it's the right height and that it doesn't um, slide out. Now just an extra little tidbit for you, for those of you with new equipment or if you buy new equipment, you can see that this is actually quite stiff. So please, when you get new equipment, soak it in water um, for a couple of minutes so that the water can go into all of these um, bands, into the, all the material. It's going to expand a little bit. So if you don't do that, it's quite hard to tension up firstly, but also that band will expand. That makes it, um, you know, once you get in the water, you might lose your tank out the bottom. It's still connected, but it's a bit of a pain in the butt. Um, so that's it. Really simple. Hopefully um, you've learnt something. It's a good idea when you get your BC or after you've seen this video, go home to your dive gear and practice. Do that a few times. It's all motor skills and getting familiar. Um, so yeah, just recap super, super quickly. Uh, Alright, so we'll get rid of that. Three the back. In the middle one, following the numbers again creating that C or that S or that wheel or whatever it is through there and that gives you your point of tension. Awesome. All right. So I hope you've learned something. Um, please like it if you like us to do more videos and write in the comments what you think our next video should be if there's been a question that you've wanted to know for a while. Brilliant. Have a great day, guys. We'll see you soon.